Hi, I'm Swamitra from uh, Mineral Water Project Information and Package Drinking Water uh, Business. So, in the last video, actually, if you have seen the video, uh, some time back, we had declared that we will be conducting a training on package drinking water plants. So, it's a long format training. You can just point out, look at, at the, the my finger and there you can check the details of the last video. So, of course, you can uh, look at this video as well. So, here I am going to talk about every point because in that video, we had just declared that we are going to start it. And I think uh, there was a link provided in the description or not, I don't remember that. But uh, now in the description here below, you can also check the link. Check the description below and you will see the link of the uh, course which is for buying the link. Even in the on the screen also you can have a look at the link. So if you can if, if you can see it here, this is the link actually. Okay. So this link you will get in the description. I will post it because here you, you can only see that. So let's have a detailed uh, discussion on the contents of the thing. So as I told you that it is going to be I will put it at every point creating a successful package drinking water business I've sold. So it is actually 5,900 rupees including GST. So if you if you remember or if you be me knowing, we used to take the four days ka, uh, 90 minutes ka each day ka course also at the same cost. The logic behind that was it was only talking about the excerpts of that. So some people who are really busy, they can go about that was the logic behind it. And some people who want it later, they could come to us. But later on, I thought that it should be discussed more in details because ultimately we used to ask people that if you want to go for the uh, course, they can come for the assessment. So we used to charge for the assessment in one-to-one -one basis. Uh, still, the assessment will go on, but it is only for the one-to-one -one, uh, things. But even about uh, many one-to-one -one discussions we have done, we have found out that ultimately uh, the things are common only besides your own idea. And that as it is, you can chat with me for a month. Okay. So you can say that your uh, individual assessment uh, can be handled uh, in this course. Okay. And rest of the 90% of the common things are handled here. So it is a revised thing. It's a different course now. So it's more about business. I will just uh, highlight the main points of that. So we'll come to know in details. Okay. So first of all, as I told you, that's uh, creating a successful package drinking water business. Okay. So the fees is 5,900 that is 5,000 plus GST. Okay. So starts 1st of April 2024, two weeks course online on Zoom. The link which is on the top of uh, you can see it here. Through that link you can pay through uh, your credit card, debit card or anything I mean uh, GP and whatever. Okay. So the information will come to us and we'll add you to the uh, badge and all that. So here it is saying, uh, so only 100 tickets left Left is what? So we have 100 uh, maximum admissions in one course. So I don't know how many people join this. So expectation is around 30, 35 people might join, I mean. So for them, it's a perfect thing. So this will be taken on Zoom as I told you. So uh, start date April 1st, uh, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay. Since uh, end date, I have mentioned 9. So what, what it is like that, I will tell you. Uh, I will mention it uh, below you can go to that so before that you can just push add to cart and you can uh, reserve your seat and all that okay and buy now also you can uh, check out and you can do that that is a commercial thing okay now uh, let's discuss about the description of the product so I will just enlarge it and let's talk it uh, starts 1st April 2024 spread over two weeks so why spread over two weeks that we feel that if you are thinking about things there may be some doubts may be coming to your mind so you can you should have some time to get those resolved also so two weeks you can have it you know so 10 sessions of one hour each okay so actually 10 sessions means what actually there are going to be going to be 20 sessions uh, so two batches we are conducting uh, morning uh, 8 to 9 am and same day uh, evening batch will be there for 8 to 9 pm same batch so if you are missing the first batch you can join in the second batch in the evening same content uh, two times some people find don't find time in the evening they will they can join in morning 8 to 9 that is the thing okay so instructor lead that is me myself okay i will be uh, singularly taking all this okay uh, fees is 5900 with gst so as i told you inform in the video if you are joining from abroad please uh, ask me the <coughs> sorry a special i will send you paypal link and you can 
pay through that okay i don't know whether insta mojil link is you know taking the abroad payments i don't know really but you can just check it if you are able to make payment through that link you can directly make the payment so about the trainer uh, i am telling you i am a veteran in this field because uh, i was having a machinery business first then we started the project business we have supplied nearly 200 plus projects so from that we came to know that what are the uh, you know limiting factors as far as the uh, entrepreneur is concerned so most of the things uh, we have found out that ultimately if you go to any turnkey supplier or something like that so they want to sell their product so they will sell there is nothing wrong about that but uh, my concern is from the business owners uh, point of view so you should really be successful in this business then only uh, somebody can you know uh, go and further in this so in this thing only i have uh, doing some research and creating some content last one year we had completely stopped because of this only because i have not getting anything because four days ka course also people used to do and then they were not able to go further then i used to tell that we'll offer you mentoring so what uh, does mentoring also should, should have some foundation behind it okay so there was a gap in between so everybody cannot afford or may not think it feasible to go for an assessment so in addition to 5000 again assessment 5000 because they are not sure so this is an ideal thing which i think it's a long format thing so you can think you can ask your questions when the course is going on and though the course will be from 1st april to 13th of 14 i will tell you the days also okay so roughly 13th april tak the 13th april tak it will be there but till april end also you can the group will be open so we can discuss and all that uh, further to that what to do we'll discuss about it so let's talk about uh, as i told you use training experience training also i got good experience because i right from uh, 2014 13 14 we have been conducting trainings uh, so we know what people want what is a business how is it has it changed i am also an enthusiast about this business so it does not mean that one year i was not taking training so i was absent in the field it is not like not like that even i have been visiting uh, various exhibitions i am seeing trains i am meeting people new entrepreneurs not just in water field but otherwise also so i know water business uh, also and i am an entrepreneur also i am myself an entrepreneur so i am not a trained uh, technician or trainer i have not done any Uh, TTC course, train the trainer kind of thing. Okay, so it is not like that. It is coming. Whatever coming out of is from my own uh, learnings. I may sometimes uh, we we may you know you may find out that I am not a formatted uh, kind of person, but that is how it is. I am more an entrepreneur and business uh, owner kind of thing. So I can relate to you. Again, I am a first generation uh, businessman. Uh, after uh, failing in various businesses till certain time, I have now established two or three streams. So that is also an added advantage which you can connect with me. okay uh, just a minute i will just switch off this uh, quick heel ka dialog box fine so <coughs> sorry so course content uh, i am just going uh, further below uh, yeah so you can check the video for detail explainer i have said so this actually link points to the earlier video okay so keep in mind that that link is pointing to the earlier uh, thing okay so yes so live lectures on zoom will cover the following topics so this is very important business model so ultimately you are going to do business business <coughs> sorry the uh, you know uh, the primary purpose of business is profit definitely because for profit so there is no option but value creation is the main thing so if you create value then you can differentiate so differentiate you must if I, if you are observing shark tank uh, shark tank so value creation ka puchte hain hamesha so you look at that so how you can create value and create a differentiator that is very important so we'll talk about business model for own plant and co packing business model two things we will be discussing own plant is having own you know package drinking water manufacturing production unit okay and co packing is getting it done from others under your brand name that is called as co packing okay simple so these two things we'll talk about so uh, this is uh, number 1 second is types of bottled water in india as per bis so i am very particular as per the bis why because we are looking for something scalable if you talk about alkaline water and if you talk about tonic water these things you know uh, a small business for suppose you start in say uh, under 50 lakh ka budget or one cr ka budget uh, package drinking water is, is an established uh, concept so you can sell without marketing much also okay 
so but if you come with a different thing it has to be you know really difficult you will find it difficult so there are two only two variants of this actually bis as per bis one is your package uh, drinking water which you, with the uh, you know normal bore well you can do it anywhere and another one is the package natural mineral water like there are many natural mineral waters like you know himalayan and all that i'm just citing examples okay so this is uh, these are the technologies which have been approved by the bis okay what is bis bis is bureau of indian standards okay bureau of indian standards uh, that gives the isi mark without isi mark if you see anything it is not allowed as per the bis so there are different waters we'll talk in detail about that why it is not allowed why it is allowed so my point simple point is the the business which is approved by the government or the legal authority it can be scalable you need not worry about it if you sleep at house and if somebody complains is it official ye hai kya wo hai so there is no question about that so i don't i am not against any alkaline water or anything but i don't know anything about it okay so i am making a plain simple statement that whichever is going to be scalable that is called as a business so you can take it to various uh, things you know next level so this is to, to uh, third one is you know resource calculations and legalities like land building power machinery huh? so we'll talk about this also in details so what is that resource is what ultimately to take your uh, business model or uh, to the next level what are the things you are going to need so that is resource so resource may mainly land building power and machinery these are the resources okay and uh, of course uh, human also labor also but i'm taking that in operational resource huh? so this is the first time established resource you need land how much land you need how much building you need how much power you will be needing machinery and all that so depending upon the machinery these all things other things will come the machinery and all that but for deciding machinery you should be knowing how much production you are getting and how much you want it okay so we'll do some little ulta reverse calculation on that and we'll finalize and arrive at those calculations okay so uh, these are the fixed uh, one time uh, resources then operational resources okay like raw material consumable labor etc okay so uh, raw materials all you need so water is also raw material uh, so in one of the videos i have said is consumable it is not a consumable actually it's a raw material okay so it, it's a critical resource without water we can start so that also we'll talk about okay so uh, raw materials what are the raw materials the pet preforms and labels and caps and all that okay so labor how much to calculation we are do more talking about the calculation so ultimately the figure of percentage revenue that is more important and profit that is more important right so fifth point is the marketing aspects so before that uh, machinery also we are going to talk in details so which machines you will need which are the machines available so we will check on online also uh, there are many videos available so we can check and we'll more talk about the how to finalize the vendors okay we will not again in every video you are saying that we are not mentioning any particular vendors so we as a policy we don't recommend any particular vendor okay so please don't ask me again uh, which vendor should i go for which is the supplier so please don't ask me accidentally you will find me uh, showing some videos from some supplier it does not mean that we are recommending them we are not marketing their machines okay so don't take it that way so uh, this is what about the machinery we will go into details operational resources as i told you marketing aspects like pricing segmentation branding digital marketing so there is difference between cost price and value okay so what is the difference in that so pricing what pricing i should take when i should do it segmentation is where i should sell directly to d2c d2g you know that b2b there are various things i'm not going to talk conceptually but i'm telling you which are the segments for water business uh, branding what are the essentials for branding some ideas in branding some ideas in digital marketing okay now i will go further yes so i will just adjust it yes so next is uh, balance sheet pnl net profit roi calculation very important so what are the elements for balance sheet you will need what is pnl profit and loss why you need it how frequently you need to check it and all that so how to calculate the net profit how to calculate the roi how much you are getting the rough points i will tell you we are not going to <coughs> go digging because there are resources available and as a business owner you will be will be hiring certain people for this i do understand that but 
कन्सेप्चुअल वाइज इट शुड बी व्हेरी क्लियर टू अस देर आर मेनी पीपल हु आर फर्स्ट टाइम बिजनेसमैन ऑल्सो इन हियर ओके फर्स्ट टाइम बिजनेसमैन सो दे डोंट नो दिस ओके सो व्हाट दे डू टिपिकली इज दे प्रोड्यूस एन आइडिया दे गो टू सम स्कीम्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड दे गो टू द चार्टर अकाउंटेंट्स फॉर मेकिंग प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट सो चार्टर अकाउंटेंट्स ऑल्सो आज दैम टिपिकली सो हाउ मच लोन यू वॉन्ट वॉट इज योर मशीनरी सो दे कैलकुलेट एंड टेल यू एंड दैट यू गो टू बैंक एंड यू गेट द लोन so before that there is a big thing that it's it's your business okay so banker will finance you no doubt about it bankers once they give you loan so their business starts because their revenue starts your expenditure starts so that is a critical point in which we need to see properly that whatever money you are investing so how much roi you are getting as an investor because you and your business there are separate entities so you are investing in your business keep in mind so this is separate entity okay so please have a um, detailed understanding about this huh? so roi calculation will be doing more as an investor how much return on your investment you are getting hmm? so next point is other miscellaneous aspects that old plant buying yes so many times people come to us that we want to buy an old plant i have seen that old plant so what are the things you need to check when you are buying an old plant hmm? so typically Uh, the place the machinery okay the condition of machines and in addition to that why they have closed the you know uh, plant and all that these aspects are also very important besides that you will be needing some people who will be visiting the place and doing the inspection but before that what are the things you can ask them huh? so old plant buying also is very important so people ask us also about the add ons like soda plant and all that so should we do soda plant and all that that also we will do how much it it costs you what are the legalities what are the additional things whether you should uh, do it from beginning on later that we can uh, discuss like water atm also we'll talk so uh, water atm is what uh, you you get typical the uh, water dispenser you know so those kind of machines vending machines if you can install then of course in all cases we'll do the project cost calculation how much is the cost of the project whole project how much is it is it going to cost you okay uh, ninth point is smart tip for vendors as i told you in machinery section we will we'll try try to get it okay how to choose vendors and who are the right vendors again i am repeating don't ask me the names of vendors okay number 10 is <coughs> sorry water required calculation how much water you are going to need so very critical calculation how to check water okay uh, which is available we are we are not the people who can tell you whether there is a water in the land or not i am not an expert uh, nobody can claim that i don't think so some people say that we know that but it is up to you okay so water required whatever available water how to check it and how to make it available for your production process how much water you going to need how how can you make some provisions for additional water so whenever now summer is approaching so in summer season how to make the how to beat the scarcity of water okay <coughs> sorry and on top of that the last point is business owner mindset in this whole thing you should build a mindset like a business owner what are the kpis you need to check key performance indicators how should you take the review of the business how regularly uh, what are the key indicators like ebitda ebi dta it's not a investment term it's a manufacturing or it's a business owner term so ebitda is what uh, earning before uh, interest tax depreciation and amortization so what does it mean so what is net profit what is operating profit what figures you should check regularly so this is what uh, the business you should think like a business owner okay some typical concepts also we'll talk in that so this is what it is uh, friends so uh, let's have also have a look at what it does not include so this is <laughs> not a disclaimer but uh, this is not going to be a detailed technical education so don't ask me how a ro works we will talk about it how what is an ro basically but it, what it does we'll talk about it okay so it is not a water technology course it's a water business course okay i'll make it a little smaller to contain in one page yes uh, detailed documentation procedure part don't ask me okay so you can hire a specialist we will tell you from where you can check the documentation if you are interested on the bias website you can check it okay so we are more talk- talking about the wisdom part of it how to do it what to look at like a business owner again we are not going to be working in our plant as a manager okay 
so again last part is names of suppliers as a policy we don't supply names even if you see mentions they are not recommendations okay they may be just for reference illustration purposes so be sure about it and uh, last not the list uh, just check the link on top of the here so as you see are you are checking the link here right so this is the link which you will see in the description box also so just click that and uh, reserve your seat uh, people will it should not happen that 100 we have said but we are not i am not going to take 100 people in this so roughly i am looking at an audience of 25 30 maximum so not beyond that because it is not a group where we can uh, you know easily teach for 15 days so at, i feel it okay so as early as possible please book your seat that is my request so thank you so much and uh, i would like to see you inside the course thank you so much if you have any a question or a query drop a comment huh, in the comment box so you can answer or i will also give you the email id so where you can check it so thank you so much and uh, have you subscribed to the channel uh, please subscribe and press the bell icon also so every single video you will uh, get a notification